hello everyone and very warm welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you how you can use after installing custom functions with open web ui i just did a video on open web ui where i showed you how you can get it installed with olama on cpu so if you're not aware of this open web ui please have a look at this video first if you're following along so that you'll be able to also install the functions now coming back to this function functionality in open web ui this primarily deals with the tool calling or function calling tools or functions are simply scripts which are written in python that are provided to a large language model at the time of request these functions or tools allow llms to perform actions and receive additional context as a result generally speaking your LLM of choice need to have support for function calling because not all of the LLMs support function calling. So make sure whatever LLM you are using supports the function call and how do you use it? Uh, and how do you know that if your LLM supports function calling or not? Simply go to its model card on Hugging Face or from wherever you are downloading it and then you can check it out on that model card and it is listed there if it supports function call or not. So, in order to get started, we need to go to this website, which is openwebua.com functions. And from here, you can download the functions. Before that, as I mentioned earlier, I already have this open web UI running on my system. And at the back end, it is using Olama, which is one of the easiest way to run large language models locally. As I said earlier, if you don't know what Olama is, what open web UI is, then please watch this video which says easiest way to run LLMs locally on CPU for free or just search with open web UI and you should be able to find heaps of videos on it. Now coming back to this, so you see on this website we have uh, models, we have prompts, we have tools and we have functions. So we are looking at functions in this video so let's click on this function and this is um these are the steps where i will be showing you how you can download a function from here and then get it integrated within existing installation of open web ui okay so we have selected the function from this uh, drop down so for the purpose of this video what i'm going to do i'm going to download a function which is called as monte carlo tree search or mcts so just search with that m cts let's wait for it and there you go so we have this visual tree of thoughts which is a Mon monte carlo tree search plus visual feedback click on view here and then once you click on it you will see that it is showing you the whole function content which is open source you can copy the whole code or you can simply click on this get button or this icon here which you can see on the right hand side so from there, all you need to do is to click on this get blue button. It is uh, saying yet yeah, saying you to sign up. So let's click on get started. I don't have an account there. So I'm just going to create now. Let me create an account. It's a free account with your email. And once you sign up, you will be presented with this screen, which is way better than the pre previous one. Anyway, make sure the functions are selected again mcts which is a monte carlo tree search click on view and then click on get here now you just download as json export you can even click on your import to web ui and it is going to import it there and i believe so if you just go to open web ui you see it is running at localhost port 3000 i am going to copy it i am going to paste it here and you can click on import to web ui and it is auto, you see that it has automatically imported it and you can click on save from here also just confirm because it is just giving you a, it's an external code that is why it is giving you the warning and it says function created successfully code formatted successfully just wait for a couple of seconds until it disappears now if you don't want to import it directly from that button all you need to do is to just go to your workspaces you just click on workspace click on function tab and from there you can click on import functions and thus 
import that json file so you see that this is the one which we just did you can click here to uh, check it out again or just click on back click on this cog item to see if there are any walls or anything and right now it is disabled so you just click here to toggle it to enable and it is now enabled and then uh, and now in the workspaces you see there is something called as mcts llama 3 so i already had this llama 3.1 but when i installed that function now i have a new model which is visual tree of thought or mcts so let's go to our new chat here on the top left and then let's ask it any question i'm going to but first from the drop down select a model i'm just going to go with this uh, tree of thought model llama 3 and let's ask it what is success in short let's so you see it is not thinking about the stuff it is going through different level of chain of thought there is a thought here so if you don't know what this monte carlo tree search is it is a decision making algorithm which is commonly used in ai game theory and optimization problem it is quite particularly effective for complex dynamic and uncertain environments so what it does is it starts with the current <clears throat> state or root node and then it traverses the tree selecting the child node until reaching a leaf node and then it creates a new child node from the selected leaf node and it randomly simulates outcomes from the new nodes and it updates the node values with simulated outcomes and also it does expansion simulation and back propagation until a stop stopping criteria and that is what you see in this graphical representation or visual representation in front of you where it has gone through different uh, nodes of the tree and in short it has given you the answer and the answer is that success is the achievement of personal objectives and aspirations so it is pretty neat and pretty nifty i would say and you can see that with the help of these functions you can extend the functionality of this open web ui and sky is the limit here as uh, you can get to any sort of functionality with it as per your own use case and if you go back from this um, from this back button where is that okay this is let me quickly search where that went okay let me go back from here and there could there are a lot of um, other options which which you can go just taking a bit of a time to go back and you can see that there are a lot of functions which are already present here like google translate or google gen ai artifacts and there are heaps of them if you want you can create your own and as it is community driven you can publish your own function or tool here so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think now you know how to use functions in open web ui easily i will be making more videos around this i am intending to cover these tools uh, which is primarily similar to what functions are but mainly geared towards image generation web browsing and search and then you can also go with prompts and that sort of stuff so that's it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching